Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. I'm Julie with Day Trip Vintage Company, and my beautiful. Um, which way are you? That way. I, I never can do. <laughs> opposite. <laughs> opposite. What you think? Okay. <laughs> Uh, my beautiful co-host today is Debbie of My Vagabond Style. I'm so excited that she's here. Not only is she a very dear and special friend, I call her my sis. Um, she's also mm -hmm. a fabulous artist and creator and junk journal aficionado. <laughs> All things well, thank you, Julie. Yes. Thanks for having me. This is going to be fun. I'm I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, you're my first guest. And yep, I didn't want anybody else but you to be my first guest. <laughs> Thank and, you. I'm honored. Yes. And let's see, who do we have here this morning? Oh, Christine is here, Side Street Market. Aw, hi, Good Christine. Morning. She's quite the artist, too. Yes, she is. She is. She's very, mm -hmm. there are... Um, Many of us in this, our little YouTube community that are um, artists and creators, and um, it's fun. People that love vintage yeah, and just and work like with a vintage. lot of crafty people. We do. We do. I think sometimes that's a natural, I feel like it's a natural progression sometimes, right? I, mm -hmm. I feel like several things with vintage that people that love to collect vintage and kind of like decorating, right? A lot of people are really gifted with interior decorating and crafting and just that kind of whole creative, right? Creative side. Yes, yeah, it's just different outlets that, you know, some people have, they might do one part of that or they might do all of that. Yeah. Right, exactly. Good morning, Margaret. Margaret's here. And we Hi, have Margaret. Jennifer. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Well, I um, I wanted Debbie to, first of all, just tell a little bit about herself. Um, I know the people in the chat are familiar with Debbie, but um, some people won't if they're coming in and people that are watching the replay. So tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your channel. All right. Well, I'm Debbie of My Vagabond Style, and I recently have changed up my uh, channel a bit, and I... Uh, was focusing on being a reseller of vintage and now I've kind of moved into my um, more artsy type. I'm not I'm not reselling at this this time. Um, but I have always had um, a love for paper. Um, there's just something about like when you touch it and you feel it like I love the crinkle. Mm -hmm. So I know that might sound weird to people that don't really care about paper, but like there's just something about certain types of paper that like, oh, what is this? <laughs> so Have you um, heard the thing yeah. where people enjoy the smell too, right? Like yeah, old right? books, there's that, right? Yeah. Some people have that. Yeah, or you go into like a library and you're like, oh. <laughs> um, so I just uh, am really getting back into my uh, junk journaling, art journals. I um, was doing it quite a bit when we, for four years, we lived in Mexico. And uh, that was kind of my outlet. I had a whole crafting area. And every time we would go to Mexico, because we would go back and forth, I would bring a whole suitcase, because we, 50 pounds of whatever I could stick in there from my craft room. Oh. So I have actually more stuff down in Mexico than I have here. So- Because you didn't um, want to bring back many, that 50 pound pound suitcase no, you know, no. right you're not gonna let so, that home right so in may when we go back to mexico i'll continue my channel and continue making the tutorials and the chats and stuff of uh wherever direction this takes me uh from mexico so i'll do it both we'll go back and forth probably six months here in the states and then six months in mexico that's awesome. So that's, you just take yeah. it, take it on. It goes with you everywhere. That's what's kind of nice about, um, I think, too, with junk journaling and working with paper and and mm -hmm. those things are sometimes easily accessible, right? Wherever you're at, oh, you absolutely. can find books, you can find postcards, you can whatever, tickets, right. <laughs> whatever, right? And how is, easy is it just to take some paper with you and a glue stick? And, you know, you can collage and keep collaging until you run out of paper, you know? 
in magazines, and magazines. Yes, these. everything. Yeah, yeah it's right? really, really accessible. You start looking at your junk mail that comes in and magazines, like you said, um, flyers, you know, everything. You just look at it a little differently. It has potential. Yeah. As I've said oh, to no. Debbie, she's I'm hooked. I'm I'm like yeah. she I she has me obsessed now. Yes, with vintage <laughs> ephemera. <laughs> It is true. You like this junk mail. Oh, this would be really cute. You know, yeah. Or you're like, how, for the stamp. Look or how the, this unfolds, or you know, like, yeah, it's crazy. It, it is. It can be. Uh, so let me say real quick. I want to say good morning to Pamela. Pamela Blanchard. Oh, hi, Pamela. Glad you're here. Welcome, She's welcome. Another talented one. Yes, I know. Look at all the talent we have here. And we have my pal Sal Vintage. Welcome. Glad Welcome. that you're here. Glad you're here. So is the that one question, Sally? Hmm? My pal Sal, is that Sally? Is your uh, name Sally I'm here? not sure. You know what? I'm not sure. Let us one. know if you like to be called. Yeah. Is it Sally or do you love my pal Sal? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, the one uh, I sort of wanted to have, even though Debbie's my first um, guest, but I wanted to have kind of a general question that I was going to ask future guests as well. And I wanted to ask, like, what has been your journey with vintage and that led you to using it in your art and your creativity? Um, I think that like I had a really good childhood. So I and my mom liked to decorate and she always like tried to have the the trendy stuff. You know, we had like the Grecian oil lamp with the drippy things going down the side. You know what I mean? The little naked Grecian lady in the my middle. My stepdad had one of those. Yeah. I know. They were fabulous, right? <laughs> yes. And um, so I think and like there's something about a shag carpet and raking it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crazy. I think it. Did you have like the yes. dark, like the dark kind of that pressed wood furniture, like the carved? Oh yeah, right. Yeah. The big console yes. TV yes. with it that flipped open, and there was a record player in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think that just has such good mem that era has such good memories for me. That's what kind of led me to start collecting things, and then. It was kind of, oh, people actually, there's other people out there that really like this stuff too. And then it kind of led into the reselling part of it. Um, the ephemera part, um, like I said, I've always, like, I've always loved anything with paper for, I don't know what reason. It's just a gene, I guess. <laughs> yeah. The paper gene. It's and like, uh, so get you, then, get you. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I started collecting stuff. Um you know, when I would go to estate sales or whatever, if they had like an old check. <sighs> so I, I just copied the old check. Hey, let me put you big. Let me oh, okay. See. There we go. Oh. So now I, I use, you know, I can reuse these in different collages and not mm -hmm. have to tear up the original one. Or I can use the original one. I have plenty to, to choose from. So, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And then just, um, you know, when you go to estate sales, you find stuff like this. Uh, so and cool. And then inside are these pages that I actually, I'm using one of these pages in the junk journal today. So. And do you like to, I've had the, I've asked you this, um, I think several times and maybe because I don't have a lot of vintage ephemera yet. Like I'm just starting to kind of collect it and amass my collection. Do yeah. you, how do you feel about using ori the original or photocopying or does it just depend on what it is? Scarcity. Exactly. It depends on what it is. Like if it's something that I know I could get another similar one of like the checks I don't have a problem using it, but it, when it's something like, where is that? Well, it's a telegram. I think I showed it to you, Julie. It's a telegram oh, of yes. somebody being, that, yeah, it was the outside tele, um, telegraph envelope and it was at a birth announcement of somebody and yes. it's just so cool. And then it came, it came with a picture of the, 
the girl as she was like maybe four. Um, so, you know, I can't really, I don't feel good about ripping up Joan's mm -hmm. birth announcement. So no, but, <laughs> but you could I do a special journal. Yes. You could do something really special around that. Yeah. Announcement. Yeah. So I'm in the process actually of make, re, uh, of copying the outside and then I'll fold it to make it look like it's the original, you know, and I'll tatter up the, the announcement a bit. And so, yeah, it's fun. Oh, so cool. So cool. Okay. So we know, now we know my pal, Sal, um, yes, Sally, and she likes either one. So. Okay. So sticking that in my head. So I wanted to ask too, just because I'm curious. Oh, Carolina, good morning. Glad you're here. Hey, Carolina. Yeah, you just Welcome. love the thought of repurposing mm -hmm, and turning it into art. Such right. a wonderful thing. So before we sort of get started, Debbie and I have, we have this whole like professional thing going on. We have like dual cameras <laughs> and we have things on, as you can see, mine's kind of sticking there. You can see the side of Debbie. So we're, we're trying new contraptions. Um, uh -huh. so, yeah, you have the best experience watching us um, craft today. But if everybody, I, I'm really curious about who like ha brought, who gathered supplies, like you can do like a hand raise, like who gathered supplies to craft with us? Or is everybody just kind of sitting back and relaxing. I'm curious too, just because, you know, for future vintage craft and chats, and it's like kind of good information for Debbie to have too, if um, how that worked with including the supply list and, and if you've all got, have you gathered your stuff and are you going to create? Yeah. And us? even if they didn't, maybe they want to see it first. And I totally yes. can understand that. Kind of um, see it and get inspired and then use that list to, to gather things around right. the house. Christine says she's to... taking notes. <laughs> she's taking notes. Yeah. She's sick. So see, that's good. That's good to know that. That's yeah. good to know that. I just pulled up my phones so that I could see the chat. Cause like, you know, I can't see the chat. So there it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I feel a little more connected. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So what do we think? Should we should we change our yeah, camera started. around and get started? Really? Okay, so I'm going to go back. Then are you going to yeah, to the different layout? There yeah, you what is better? I don't what do we think? Probably this one? Let me get my um, webcam up. Yeah, and I need to change mine over and then I'm going to change my um, my seat a little noisy let's see what do we think what is better everybody can kind of see okay good so that's good to know um oh hi Lori welcome blue flamingos here oh hi Lori I'm so, I'm so glad you're here so Pamela says so she's working and taking notes oh um, good all right so yeah, and she likes if you ever want to show a preview of a project and then do it together, I would love to do those. Okay, that's oh, awesome. that's a good idea. So, do we think that's this does idea. this seem good? I wonder. What do you think? So, there's that. Probably this is better, right? I would think so. Do you think that's a better? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Well, they can probably see better. We're just gonna have to be really careful. Or maybe they need to, you know what I'm gonna do? No, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make you big and then I'm gonna be little. Right? Mm -hmm. I think that's better. Because then that way. Okay. I'm gonna move my chair. Can... That way they can really because you're the you're the teacher here. And as we go along, we can uh... yes. Exactly. Sorry for my chair noise. Joe, you're, yeah, and I'm just moving a wire so it's not in the frame. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to move my... Okay, I think we're ready to start. So right. um, just grab your the card, the little greeting card that I okay. did. This is just card or cardstock. You could use anything. Um, but it's basically uh, half of a size of a letter, letter size sheet. Okay. And then we'll just open it up flat and we'll start to collage. Now okay. there's a couple, I use two different ways of collaging. I, it just depends on what, how I'm feeling. So here's, here is a more squared collage. Like everything is more, um, you know, 
square. Kind of, okay. Yeah, they're just kind of squared. Not not so much like this one. Here's an, a different one. So okay. this one has like just pieces of scraps, mm -hmm. you know. So it just depends on what you like. Or you can do a mixture of both. I tend to do one or the other. Okay. Does it have a better like end effect when you go to cut it or is that? No, it really you... doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. It's just what you like. Okay, so perfect. I just tend to like this way a little more than the other. But a that's square. just me. Okay. I'm kind of a square girl. Like, like, yeah. kind of like it's like an OCD thing or okay. something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to show you. I just grabbed some collage, some extra papers. Okay. Um, I just grabbed a little piece of map. There's some dictionary pages here. Here's a um, German book. A little bit of music. Okay. And, and then some colored pages. This was from a drafting book. That was kind of cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd like to try to find just a little bit different things here and there. And this I got at an estate sale. And then okay. I also have a magazine because I, I was trying to stay with stuff that a lot of people are easily accessible, you know. Right. So um, I like to tear the paper with my ruler to get those kind of square edges if I need to. Okay. So um, just get your glue stick. And then Julie and I both have these books here that um, we actually use to glue on. Now this just saves your mat from getting all messed up. And then you just tear these pages off and I use them later. Okay, so my got my glue page. stick ready. Okay. All right. So let's just kind of get some pieces. And the bigger my, um, the surfaces that I'm trying to cover, I think, you know, I'm not going to use massive pieces for this. They're all going to be a little bit on the smaller side. Okay. You know, like. You can, do, uh, you can do bigger ones if you want. I just kind of want a little more, you know, color here and there. So I'm going to take that first one and just use my glue stick here. I love this um, technique. I didn't know about this with the ruler. Yeah, um, the ruler's great, isn't it? Yes. This and I'm technique. actually, this piece, I'm just going ahead and putting it, um, you know, over the crease because we're just doing the whole surface. And do I want to, like, when I glue it on, do I want to overhang it? Well, like, do we go back and cut that? Yeah, I overhang. I did a little overhang, overhang on mine. You okay. can see that right there. Okay. And we'll go back with scissors and, and cut that off. Let's see, we and have then, both Amy's, we have uh, Evan Owen, and we have Amy Weaver, welcome. Welcome, you guys. I was reading Evan's comment. I think the supply list can help with those working along. Yeah, oh. I, I, I think it's good, especially just beginners, you know. Now that one, I really didn't have to tear the edge. I just went ahead and, and did and it just, just to get it. a little okay. bit rougher edge. But this side, I won't. And, you know, I try to do a little bit different shapes. And you can do, you can absolutely go from one side to the other. You don't have to um, go in any particular order. And it just seems to come to work out. So we'll quickly just collage this. And do you make all the, like, do you, you rip all the edges, right? You would never do something that has a cut edge, right? Is that, um, you know what I mean? I like would never do edge. anything that has what? Like a straight edge. You always like rip them or use the, use the. Um, no, sometimes I, they, they might have two, you know, uh, two ripped edges and one straight. Oh, okay. I would. 
yeah. So this one, I'll just kind of maybe make a square. And like this one, I, I kind of moved it over so that it wasn't lined up with this. I like it when it's uh, off just a bit and okay. they're not uh, lined up. But that's, again, just preference. There's no right or wrong to this. Like, you, you can't do it wrong. <laughs> that's that's little... good to know. There aren't like, yeah. No, there's rules. no rules. See, like this one, I'll probably true. go ahead and leave that little not exactly square and then I also like to turn them different ways like I might make this one upside down oh okay yes so adding interest with the um the design of the paper you're using right and then once your page gets a little gummy just rip off the book page and fold it and get it out of your way and start on a new one like fold it in half. Okay. Yeah. I should have ripped the, um, I should have ripped the cover off of my book. So this one feels a little sticky to me. I'm going to take this one off and I'm actually going to fold this one this way. And okay. this will be in preparation for another. I'll use this down the line to embellish the journal. Now I have a fresh page there. Yeah, there's, it's just like I come in here in the mornings and I just drink my coffee and um, play with the paper. I love that. And it's so relaxing. It really is. Like, cause you're not thinking about anything else, you know? And I, I would think too, it's like, you could just get lost in it. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty soon you're like, For oh sure. my gosh, like how many hours have gone by? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes my husband's like, where are you? <laughs> <breakfast today?" laughs> yeah. It's cereal. Help yourself. <laughs> So I'm feeling I um, have two two videos up on my channel now. Um, so there is some content with this new venture. And they're actually about embellishments. So you can um, make this journal and then start watching the embellishment ones. And if we get far enough today, we'll do a few on the inside of this one. Yeah, I love the um, the one that you did um, this past week with the with the pockets. Oh, did you like the pockets? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's fun. So um, I'm also going to show you guys something why we're continuing here. How are you doing, Julie? How many you got on I there? I think I'm doing good. I'm just, I'm like slower. <laughs> like very, okay. I'm very slow. And so, uh, this, is, this was the original one and uh, that we're making today. And um, then I was also trying to show that there was, I did this one the other day. Julie hasn't seen this one. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh my goodness. So yeah, well, it's, it turned out pretty good. I love the color. And so I have quick. a whole pile of magazines that I need to, so I guess now I should, I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to throw those out or recycle them, but I guess not. Oh, you got to go through them first. Yeah, they're like better homes and gardens, right? So you know they'll have like really oh, good yeah. floral. You're not pictures. throwing them out. Yeah, no. 
<laughs> Who are you kidding, Julie? <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I went to after um, last Friday's uh, vintage coffee talk. There was a estate sale. I usually I look at the estate sale .net, um, app, mm -hmm. and there hasn't been a sta estate sale that sort of I guess called to me for a while, and um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go to this one, and I literally came home. It was like I wanted to look for hard goods. For vintage coffee talk and i can't I, I showed debbie i came home with like immense immense like boxes and piles of just ephemera i think my only hard goods <laughs> were like a tea towel and well oh, i think girl. i'll do a haul on it there, there was like three things that were hard goods and not ephemera <laughs> piles but I was so excited I was just like yes oh yeah it happens <sighs> so I'm just gonna keep going here yeah I feel like I'm behind but I'm And I try not to think too much about it, you know, like you can really overthink these things. So this is just scrapbooking paper here that I had. Am I supposed to use the, like this wallpaper? Is that what I can use? Are you I using the wallpaper? Yeah. Okay. So I, I sent one. Julie some vintage <laughs> wallpaper that I had. Um, yeah, that'll work great. Let's see. What else do I have? This I have. Oh, I have this too. Let's see. And if you don't have any of the scrapbooking paper or any of this other stuff, you could do this all in neutrals and it would look great. Like if you just got some music paper, some book pages and a map, you could do the whole thing like that. Ooh, that would be beautiful. Uh-huh. Because then your focal point, you know, you just have more focus on that and not so much the background. Oh, I love that everybody is chatting about, um, yeah, building up, um, you know, stashes of supplies and people getting back to it. Amy's getting back to crafting. I love that. Oh, and I see that, um, Carolina asked, does card stock, does card stock paper work too, or is it too thick? Um, if it's that real super thick kind, I don't like to use it uh, for, for the collaging. I, I prefer the thinner paper. Like we're kind of a, maybe even a little thick on that wallpaper, um, but it's, it's okay. I've used it. Uh, so it's kind of just, you got to try it out and see if, if it works for you. And if not, then, uh, you know, use it on something else. You use it on a tag on the inside or something. I'm going to put that there. I love using them. Um, I have a huge, I do have a huge, huge stash of um, maps. Oh, like, you do? You know, like road maps, like full. I, ha yeah. I have, okay, confession. I have a big... <laughs> Well, I used to make jewelry with um, with vintage maps, and so I have a huge collection of some may even be antique, like atlases. And my mom, like years and years ago, she um, she was, you know, I uh, like at a state sale or something, and uh -huh. um, bought me this huge box of maps, and I'm I've like kind kind of like slowly using them, but, um, I, they're, cause oh, they're nice. Great. They're so thin. Right. Uh-huh. So, and, uh, I'll talk about the glue sticks. So there's all kinds of different glue sticks out there. I like to use the ones that say permanent. Um, and if you use like the wash, the washable ones, 
they mm-hmm. tend to pop off down the line. So, you know, it might look good for a oh. while, but then your stuff will pop off your page. So make sure your glue stick um, is not a washable one. Yeah, mine says all craft bond, all purpose, glue stick, acid free, photo safe. So this must be, mm-hmm. that must be okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to, Julie, I'm going to make sure that for, for yours, um, like if you're uh, falling a little too far behind, I don't know where you're at here. I can't. I feel like I'm behind. Me. Yeah. So you just, yeah, you, you go. Um, so maybe, uh, let me see what size papers you're using. Maybe I'm using my papers are too small. Maybe for this one, you might want to go continue on. It's a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I feel like I've painted myself in a, like I should have mm-hmm. done this area first. So is there a, um, a blank spot there? Uh-huh. Yeah, Just see, I didn't one- think it out. Oh, no, that's okay. Just get a square piece and uh, kind of overlap it and make it so it's off center from that one. Right, off center. From the orange yeah. one. Yeah. It'll be great. And that's the thing. If you don't like how something turned out, just slap a little more paper on there. You know, you can put another sheet of something mm-hmm. over the top of something. I do that all the time. I was watching somebody that um, the lady that you suggested and um, I was noticing, which is such a great idea where she has like a little bowl on her work surface and then she just puts all her scraps in there. I thought that was such a great. Yeah. Great like idea. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I need to get a bowl. Yeah. So the lady I'm talking about is, um, Roxy Creations. She does a mm-hmm. lot of great stuff. So if you, um, she's got wonderful videos out. And then um, when we get to the focal points, I'll talk about uh, another gal that's got some freebies out there that you can go onto her website and download her freebies and print them out and you have automatic focal points. Ooh, that would be good. Yeah. I went um, to the Long Beach, or no, I, my husband and son and I, we went to uh, Torrance Flea Market, uh, Antique Flea Market um, on Sunday. And it was interesting because, uh-huh. of course, I always, you know, whenever I see ephemera, I, I like, I'm like running to the box or the, you know, thing to dig through. But knowing that, you know, that we were doing this and, I, you know, I was like looking at things with a different eye too. Like, like uh-huh. I bought blue chip stamps, which oh, I was great. so excited to get. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, I had asked my husband to hold them and he's like, oh my, like what? I'm like, oh, I'm trying <laughs> to find blue chip stamps. So funny. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So here's my outside. Oh, looks so good. And then, um, now I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and cut all these that are hanging over the edge. Okay. I'm going to try to get caught up with you. Okay. So I'm just kind of tucking my uh, scissors up to the edge there. It's weird to try to cut it with the camera <laughs> so that you guys can see mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And these scissors are called um, Cutter Bee. And they're great little scissors. That Ooh, they're Julie so found. good. Mm-hmm. 
and yeah, on Amazon. Tammy, Tammy Creative Girl Vintage. That was when I kind of first heard about Cutter Bees, and they're so good. They are. They're super what sharp. Were they? We got them on Amazon. That they weren't that much, right? Like ten dollars. Um, yeah, 10. like ten bucks. Mm hmm. Okay. So at this point, um, I, you can, you can cut this apart. Like I'm going to cut this apart right now. My, I like to do the first one this way, just so that, uh, it, there's a little more flow to it, but you could cut these apart and do them separately. If that is what you like, you could do like, you know, four collages. I'm going to go ahead oh, and cut okay. this part now and then collage the inside. And honestly, the, the longest part to do any of this is the collage. Once we get done with the collage, it'll go quick. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I think I'm being very slow here. Yeah, I think as you do it, you get a little faster, you know? Mm-hmm. Like a rhythm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as you um, have done it a few times, you know? Okay, so I'm going to keep going here real quick and slap these on. Bye, Christine. Christine's going back to work. Oh, bye, Christine. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you for being here. And also for anybody that isn't already uh, subscribed to Debbie's channel, I have her YouTube channel uh, link in the description too below, along with the um, supply list that she provided. I'm about ready to rip this glue page again. It's getting sticky. So this one, as I tear it off, I'm just going to fold this one in half. I try to do a little bit different shapes. So when I go back to reuse these for like a pocket or something. Oh, it's and, running different direction. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I just did my first one. <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah, sometimes you can get, uh, I have gotten, when I first started doing it, I, I uh, got into doing really small pieces of um, paper. And then it was like, oh, it, it, it was a bit much. Yeah, I think that's, that's my mistake here. I think I'm, I think I'm, doing I can't like really too see small so can you go to the big screen and see how your ears look yeah oh that looks good but looks what good. what's happening to me is like I I feel like I need to think about it more like so now I'm here and I'm like oh should I have a neutral should I have something with color you know what I mean look I think I think I'm over yeah. I'm over you know what probably look good is that blue one this one? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm going to do the blue one. All right. Let me go back. There we go. And some of this, like, um, I'll probably put a pocket on the inside of, of my journal. So I probably won't even see what I put down below here. Oh, okay.
And that's also a good trick. Like if you don't like how something came out, you can cover it with a pocket or whatever. And I know that on mine here or on ours, when I go to put the spine in, you're never going to see this part of it. It's going to be covered right here. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so we went out to dinner last night. We had a really nice time. There was like nine of us that went out to dinner. Oh, how nice. Yeah, it was great. There's like a little clubhouse here we went to. And uh, the only thing about when you have nine people, it's a little hard to talk to everyone, you know, because you got people at the other end and you feel like you didn't get to visit with them. Right. It's almost like you have to get up and do um, musical yeah. chairs or something at some point, right? Yes. Was it, was it like, um, and then sometimes too, like uh, if there's, you know, men and women, like sometimes, <laughs> right. The men are down at one end and. Well, uh, you know, what we did was when we sat down, the men all sat on one side and the women sat on the other side. Right, right. Yeah. I don't know why that <laughs> why that happens. The men got the chairs, we got the booth. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I forgot about my cool um, paper here. I have to add some of this now. So I'll go back and add a piece of this on the front. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, okay. So that's the other thing to write, to try to incorporate. Well, I really wanted this, this drafting book on there because I thought it was so cool. So I'll just add another piece. There you go. What, sweetheart? I know I noticed that. Sorry, my daughter was saying something uh -huh. spilled in the pantry. What is it? Oh, soap. Oh, fun. Soap. Some kind of soap. <laughs> yeah, I'll um, I'll mop it. It's just like real life here. I'll mop it after. <laughs> there you go. You won't have to add any soap. No, I'll just... <laughs> Wet them up, and I know I noticed that yesterday, and I'm like, wait, what did is it? I thought it was something that came from outside. Apparently, it's an inside issue. So I just put something on there, and I peeled it right back up. That's the nice thing about the glue stick is if you didn't really like what you just did, you can rip it up real quick. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, I think I'm almost like I oh, good. with you. I don't know Let's see what I'm doing here. Oh, I hear my naughty dogs barking. They're locked up in the bedroom right now. <laughs> oh, are they sad? No, they're all no. in their little beds and oh, they're co all cozy. Yeah, yeah. Cozy babies. And I'm going to grab something out of my uh, little magazine here. Maybe a neutral for this one, too. This rug thing, I think, is going to be great. Little rug magazine. So this is a little, you know, a little bit shiny but that's okay. I like what Amy uh, Evan Owen is saying. Yeah. Journals are an expression of you, right? For you, or you can give them as gifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They make great gifts. Hmm. 
I'm clearly a slow crafter, which I've said to Debbie before, <laughs> which sometimes <laughs> why it takes me a, like a while to come up with um, my weekly crafts, my uh, when I'm so low for my vintage craft and chat. Yeah. I think I'm just slow. Must be well, my who nature. wants to rush? This is supposed to be a fun thing, you know? Like, you just yeah. do it at your own rate. I think everybody just is different. And that's okay. Let's see here. Let's see. What else do I want to put on here? I can never see this one. Yeah, like I'm a messy crafter. I have to like stop myself and oh. see that that's how it's going right now. <laughs> yes, I'm like, look at, I just have stuff. I really, well, I'm going to make a little pile here. Um, I, I need to get a bowl. Yeah, the bowl, the bowl does help. What a great idea. I'm going to make a little pile here. I don't really want that there. And you can kind of, they call it auditioning, auditioning something. Like I had this piece here and I was going to put it here and it's right next to this other stripes. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. Ooh, okay. Not. Yeah. So. Oh, that would be lovely. So Jennifer Miller saying uh, she saw someone make a, a journal honoring their grandparents using their photos and some mementos. It was lovely. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how sweet. Oh, That's awesome. I love that. I love, love, love that. Getting a little sticky on my another page. Like, I'll go through probably 10 pages as we're doing this. Now, do you, like, if you have magazines, would you go, like, I'm wondering if that big, huge stack, which is a huge stack of magazines, like, I guess I should just sit through and rip out the pages that speak to me, I guess, then I can kind of reduce <laughs> yeah. the footprint in the house. Uh-huh. Yes. I would definitely do that. My metal ruler. Oh, let me get more. Oh, that's a piece of that. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit here and talk to myself while I'm doing this. <laughs> I know. I need to go for that. Where did that go? Yeah. Uh, and I really, it's not a bad thing to do that because um, it, now that I'm starting to do the um, tutorials and stuff, while mm -hmm. you're doing things, at least you can, people can know what you're thinking. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I think I want to move this up a little bit. That doesn't look quite right. You know, uh, it might help someone. Right. It's a good, yeah, to, to kind of hear your inner thoughts, your thought process. Yes, so talking to yourself is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I I mean, I think I'm finally done with my front. <laughs> like, only took with me. your uh, outside? Okay. Yeah, my outside. <laughs> so um, on your inside, what I'm going to mm -hmm. have you do is only do um, three quarters of it up. Okay. Leave the bottom quarter empty because we'll put pockets on it anyway and that'll save you some time okay perfect all right so i'm gonna trim oh so relaxing i could just do i mean i could do this all day like i know right get on a zoom with you <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, craft. Yes. Christine and I are doing that um, 
in another week or so, I think it is. Oh, I nice. my calendar. We're gonna we're gonna zoom together, uh, Christine from Side Street Market. Oh, you should do like. Is there a way to do like a big zoom, like where yeah, you can have I think, like a bunch I think of you people, have you know, a zoom people account. that are in the chat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, let's do that. Yeah, that would be fun. Okay, so I have my. I have my front. Okay. Okay. So, so then, uh, cut the edges off. Yeah, I cut the edges. Okay, then cut down the middle where the fold is. Oh, I cut it. Oh. Yeah. So oh, now my. Right. Okay. So cut the middle. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, that makes me nervous. But um, you don't have to be straight because it's going to be, I mean, try to be, but you don't have to be because okay. we're going to uh, be putting the spine on it. Oh, I love this. So now I, I get, do I need to decide what's the front or the back or no? Yeah. Do you need what? Do I need to decide what will be my. Yeah, you might want to. Front um, and back. Okay. Because I'm not going to have okay. you do the bottom portion of that one. Unless, okay, I think I decided. That unless you just easy. use a big piece of paper or whatever. Yeah, it was okay. So I'm not going to do the bottom third. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm going to try to be a little quicker. Yeah, so this is just, you know, nothing I invented, that's for sure. I just watch a lot of different YouTubers. And um, like I said, I've been doing this for years. The junk journaling, I probably started maybe six years ago. And uh, I just watch different people. And, um, you know, you might do exactly what they do or you might you know usually it takes a little bit different spin on it you know you think oh mm -hmm. that inspired you to to do something and then it, it takes a little bit different twist on it well and two probably like you know there might be there there are things like you grab it like you maybe love birds or yeah or you know uh natural history kind of inspired or Right. Yeah. Because I, um, you know, have that thing for mushrooms. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In fact, my focal point on this one is going to be a mushroom. Um, most of the time when I'm doing these, I really don't have, I haven't picked out the focal point ahead, but in the, uh, you know, to try to save some time, I went ahead and picked out what I wanted and Julie picked out hers. So like this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave this piece, how it's kind of just, a, it's not exactly square, but I like it. So I'll leave that on there. Yeah, this rug magazine is working out great. Oh, I'll have to look for rugs <laughs> when I go through my stash. Oh, big piece there. Yeah, I um, used the other day a cereal box. I was making a um, thing to keep all my 
ephemera that I've made to go inside mm -hmm. the, the embellishments that I've made to go inside these things. I was trying to come up with some sort of holder to hold all this stuff. So let me show you what I came up with. So here's the box, the cereal box I cut down. Oh, what a great idea. Put that in there. And then this was from, a, I think, a phone that I had gotten. And I have them in here as like, these are pockets. Okay. Down here a little bit. Pockets are all in one area. The um, little clusters are in another. Mm -hmm. um, these are going to be like pockets inside the journals and tags. Okay. Oh, okay. I know exactly what container I'm going to use. I'm going to pull. Oh, good. Pull it out, I think. Oh, cool. You know what I found the other day? I was so excited because I don't, I, I've never had one. Um, <laughs> was a um a drawer from an antique sewing machine you know those cool drawers oh, oh yeah so excited to find one of those oh that's awesome i mean i have my mom's like actual antique sewing you know with the with the yeah. travel and everything but i think the drawers are so cool have you ever seen those like loose yes yeah, yeah. and they're usually kind of expensive I paid 15. I don't know. That's kind of, does that seem like a lot? I just wanted it. For one drawer? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. probably a lot. Well, but I was like, I've never seen them. They're never, never cheap. Seen one again. Yeah. I probably paid up for it. I um, uh, was this new kind of little honey hole kind of place uh -huh. and uh, he gave well, me I haven't really bought one in a while. Maybe somebody in chat knows if that's a good yeah, price. Yeah, he gave me some great prices on some other things. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do 15 on that. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Okay, right. so I've got mine, the inside done. Okay. And I'm going to cut the edges. And then we'll put the spine on. So what you could do is do a big uh, master board, they call them, which is one of my videos uh, that I have up on how to do a master board. And then you could cut these down to size and you could do like, you could be making two journals at once or three journals, which when you do a mass make like that, it goes so quick. Now I have my master board from sitting here that taylor and i did uh-huh right when uh my daughter and i crafted with you last week when you did the live tutorial on thursday so i guess i could use i could use that right uh-huh absolutely let's see i need blue it's probably thick enough it's just how you know some some uh journals are thicker than others as you're you're making these mm -hmm. okay let me clean up here and a lot of times after i'm done with uh you know, working on something for the day, I'll go through here and make sure that I'm not throwing out any pieces that I want to keep. And I sort them. <laughs> so weird. I sort them by size and okay, uh, that's good to know neutral and, and colors. And then that way, if I'm doing something and I just need a little piece of something, I can grab it. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. So for right now, I'm just going to move all those over there. Okay, so at this point, I could decide which ones I want for my front and back and which ones I want for the inside, but I like them all. So I think I definitely want to use this one for the inside. Okay. 
Because you covered your, okay, because you covered your whole piece. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. So, um, let me look here. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the spine. Are you, how close are you, girl? Oh, I only have one side, but I'll, I'm okay. going to keep going and then I'm going to watch you though do that. Well, I, I don't think. want you to fall behind. Okay. Let me see how much I can slap on here. While you're um, doing that, I can show some other um, type of things that I pick up at estate sales and what kind of different papers I use for the inside. Okay, perfect. So like I said, I like to get these anytime I see these different types of little books. And I took the staples out of the center here. And then today I'm going to use one of these inside my junk journal. And this was something I picked up at an estate sale and, to and took the staples out as well. But look at the patina on that thing. It's just beautiful. Ooh. And um, the lines are kind of pink in it now. So I'll use that inside a junk journal, even if I end up cutting it, you know, to make it the right size. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not going to use that today. And then this was an interesting book that I picked up that was uh, different airports. And so I coffee dyed these, which um, there's lots of people out there if you just Google or not Google, but in YouTube, you search coffee dyed paper or tea dyed paper mm -hmm. or avocado dyed paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> avocado dyed paper is with the skins of the avocado and it turns pink. The paper turns pink. So it's, and then once you do that with them, oh my goodness, like they have a really cool texture to the, to the papers when you dye them. This you is just a graph. You need to do a tutorial on that for all of us. Yeah, I could do that. It's on it's pretty dying. easy. I'd have to take you to my kitchen because I actually use the some, most of the time if I'm doing a, a bunch of them, I'll use my oven to dry the paper. Oh, okay. So, um, and if you use the, I I kind of like tea dyed better than coffee dyed, just because if you don't love the smell of like older coffee. <laughs> Sometimes the paper really picks up the smell of the coffee. Okay. So, uh, if you don't really like that, then tea dye is a better one. Is a better to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a little bit lighter color. Um, and then I also like to like make the coffee kind of pool up in different places. So you get these different spots on your paper. Ooh. And then this was, I, I picked up a tablet at Staples uh, of this ledger paper. I like that. Ledger paper, graph paper, um, you know, school kid, school kids paper. Am I saying that right? You know, <laughs> the lined paper. Let, what do they yes. call that? Uh ruled 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 paper. yeah i was trying try to think because i remember the kids were little it's like <laughs> they had to have like college ruled they had to have wide ruled it was like right yeah the teachers would like dictate yeah so and then um some of these other little books i like to pick up um this was a cool one i can't remember this was called the basket something I can't remember. It was the one that I gave you a page of in this, Julie. Ooh. Um, but if you feel like the spine, like this is pretty weak paper, like it's real old and brittle. Uh -huh. So sometimes I'll take, which I did with Julie's, I took uh, another piece of paper, similar color, and glued it right here just to go on each side of this here, like a strip glued it down. And then that way it just kind of reinforces it more. So it won't, you know, over time break out of your little journal. Hi, yeah, second jump. part of living. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Thanks Glad for coming. Here. Um, and I'm seeing that Evan is saying, yeah, junk, 
uh, junk mail is another great source of material. Yep, you can have fun reusing it. The envelopes are great. Yeah, and the windows, absolutely. And the withering cottage is here. Hello, hello. Oh, did I miss Ariana coming in? Mm -hmm. I, I think she just got here. Oh, there she is. Hi, Ariana. You're on the lag. I'm watching it on my phone. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we're, Jennifer says that's the work basket magazine. The work basket. She, yes. And Thank she you, bought a few copies. Okay, good. That's good to know. Okay. I think I'm, I'm getting closer. Let's see. I need to put a piece of that over here. I feel like I need a neutral there. All right. That'll go there. Getting caught up here. Oh my gosh, look how messy I am. All of a sudden, I thought I cleaned it up. <laughs> now I'm like just a big mess again. So for my focal point, I am going to use this um, mushroom. And I got this off of Shabby Dabby Doodah is her YouTube channel. And she has a link on her most of all of her videos to her website. And it's like, I can't remember the actual name, but there's a link that goes right to it. And then on her link um, to her website, once you get in there, it, they'll say something that says freebies. And then she's got a ton of freebies. They're awesome. Like, uh, let me show you a couple that I printed off before we got on here. So if you don't have any of this stuff, it's a great. Oh, wow option and she actually has um an etsy store that uh you can go to and buy different images of and kits of things that you might like so here's this one and and this was like a 10 page thing and i just printed three of those pages real quick before we went on wow so that is so accessible if you're um just starting out with junk journaling right you don't have yeah. to you don't have to have vintage things. You can use, yeah, magazines, mail, um, free printables from websites. Uh-huh. And then don't all the, I know um, Debbie, you had said that there are um, museums, right, that have printables. And I think my daughter said ev like every kind of major museum has that. Yeah, they have um, digital a uh, digital downloads that you can do. Uh huh. Um, like the New York, I think it's the New York Metropolitan Museum has a site, or New York Public Library. That's what it's called. Yeah. If you go to that, um, you can. I think you can search by domain free. And then you could actually use those and sell them. Like this, because it's her artwork. Um, I don't think, I'm not sure if I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I, I, you'd have to like, maybe you could send her a message and ask her, Hey, can I make journals and sell them? I'm not selling your images. I'm just using your images on my collages and see, see what she says. But, uh, you definitely would have to get permission. I would think. Oh, Diane's here. Hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Good to see you. Um, so this image here, I just took my distressed ink again, got this on Amazon, but you can get it at Hobby Lobby or Michael's Tim Holtz distress ink. And these are just four different colors. And, um, I just got that white edge. I just took a sponge. You can use a makeup sponge, um, and got the harsh white edge off, off of it. Not not a must. I just kind of like to do that. Now I have a question. I have a major question with the fussy cutting, right? Cause that's called fussy cutting where you, uh -huh. where you went around the image. Are you supposed to leave? Like, is it better to leave a bit of white around it or? Oh, that's a good or question. Not? Yeah. Or does that matter? Or is that just preference? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's just preference. Okay. 
but um, pretty much 90% of the time I do it. Okay, so now I've, let's see. So now I've like caught up with you and then I uh -huh. have, I have my back, like my front. Oh, good. My inside. So I just, uh -huh. but I didn't caught, you know, I, I, I just stopped there. Is that okay? Okay. Like, so I was okay. kind of just um, moving along so that uh, right now we're going to put the spine on. So okay. um, these are the strips of, I use linen. You could actually do this with paper if you, if you didn't want, didn't have any linen. Um, I seem to have no problem finding, you know, like when you go to a yard sale, estate sale, thrift store, you find those linens that, oh my gosh, they're completely messed up. They have stains on them, whatever. Right. Um, so I'm buying those up because I can use, I can use, uh, parts of it, you know? Okay. So oh, good idea. And also I'm going to be doing an embroidery journal. So the, I'm using them as cutters. Uh, so now what, what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to, you have your, you decided what side you're using, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So then, um, if your journal is going to be thick, like you're going to put quite a few pages in it, you're going to want to spread the spine apart a little farther. Okay. If you're not like, I think right now, probably just like a quarter inch is plenty. So I'm okay. going to leave mine about a quarter inch apart. Okay. I'll do the same. I'll move this up just to here. And um, I'm going to take one of these pieces and I'm going to get my Fabri-Tac. Okay. You can use Fabri-Tac or tacky glue, um, fabric glue, whatever you want. And this stuff is really good. Like, I feel like I don't have to put a ton of it on there. Mm -hmm. Let me see how, how long this is. Um, and then I'm just going to lay it as flat as I can get it here and take a little bit of this. I'm not going to go right down the middle of it because that's going to be empty. And I'm okay. just going to use like, kind of like a skiff of glue, you know, like not, not a ton. Okay. And I'll do it down one side and uh, not on the fringy part. Okay. And leaving that middle you can always go back and add a little more if you need to. And then I'm just going to flip it over. I've got my, and you have a little bit of time to um, move it around a bit. So don't worry about that. And I'm going to look at the backside real quick and make sure they're kind of even. Yep. They look good. They're even this way. Oh, am I supposed and to do this on the know. inside or the outside? The outside. I just flipped it over to take a little oh, peek. okay. Make sure they were even. Okay. Because I can't really see it on that side. Yeah, let me see if mine. Mine are fairly even. Yeah. Okay. And that looks good. So I'm just going to kind of leave that there. And then I'll flip it over. So I've got that middle opening right there. Okay, perfect. I have the same, same thing. Okay. Okay. And depending on where I put my scissors here, and they are, I'm going to um, go ahead and cut that edge off. Okay. I didn't line mine up super well. There. And these little scraps I'll save. Okay, so yeah. Do... There's another thing called a snippet roll. <laughs> it's like one thing. It's like a rabbit hole. <laughs> you know, one thing leads to another. Wow, we've been on an hour and 15 minutes. We better. Oh, we have? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do the other one. 
And these are about, what, an inch and a fourth, I would say. Okay, wide. so we're going to do the inside too. Yeah, we're going to do the inside too. Okay. Same thing, just a little bit down there on each side. Using the Fabri-Tac this time, but I've used tacky glue lots of times. I, I do like the tacky glue because you don't um, actually see the glue come through. Like this one, that's this, you can kind of see how that's, um, the wetness kind of shows through. Mm-hmm. But it, whatever you like. Yeah, I find I've been um, really grabbing this um, tacky fabric tack a lot. I've been using it a lot. Uh -huh. my crafts. This one kind of has a curl to it right here. I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of the tacky glue. And uh, I hear my husband coming in. And okay, this is kind of clogged up. So I guess I'm not using that right at this second. <laughs> I'll just use a little more fabric tack right there. Okay. Oh, hi, Kelly. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Hi, yeah, Kelly. You can go back and, um, yeah, watch the replay. A great idea. And I also wanted to say um, the same thing that I do for um, my regular crafts is if anybody gets inspired and uh, is crafting along with us here or wants to go back and watch the replay is um, I have a hashtag on Instagram, which is, I'll type it in here really quick. Uh, Kelly knows because she's she and um her sister Mary have done some of the crafts and um, posted them, but let me type it in here really quick because yeah, that's always fun to see. Oh, it's do. so fun to see what other people are crafting and and how they've you know taken the tutorials and what they've done mm -hmm. with it and the direction they've gone with it. Okay, so okay, vintage so craft and chat with the and uh, written out. Yeah. Okay, so now, oh, I need to cut. Okay, I need to cut the one I just glued. And then I think I've caught up with you. Okay, good. So um, you already fussy cutted the image that you wanted out of there, which uh, I think was the owl. Yes. And the owl, I'm pretty sure I got on Graphics Fairy, but that was, okay. I think that then Graphics Fairy also has some free images that you can use. Um, but I'm pretty sure the owl was on not a freebie. I, I think that was when I had my paid subscription to them. They call it like a premium one. Okay. Yeah. So I have the owl. Now mine, I guess it doesn't matter. So I'm going to glue him on and he's going to overlay the material, the binding, but that's good, right? That's fine. That's okay. Um, oh, you did or the should whole I, owl. I should, I, should I cut? Maybe I should cut around him. Um, you know, let me, can I, what can you, you make yourself big? Uh-huh. So I just cut out the oval, mm -hmm. but I'm wondering if I should cut, you know, should I cut around you know, him? You know what I would probably do is, is, you know how you um, fussy cutted the, like the mushrooms and all, all uh -huh. that other stuff? I would go ahead and cut where that mushroom is and just leave yourself a little edge and go around him all the way like that. Okay. And uh, all the way from his hat, go around his hat and down his backside to his, okay. you know, to the very end. 
and leave the oval on the bottom right. Okay. I also cut out like that flower that you sent uh -huh. me. I also had that and the mushrooms. Let me see. Uh... And, you know, if you wanted to decide later what you wanted to put on the front, you could do that. But um, I just kind of thought we'd put something on there and you can always go back and uh, add more later. Yeah. Okay. Let me do, let me do that. Let me cut around him really quick. Yeah. Do is like maybe from his back. I should get rid of this, right? Yeah. Get rid yeah. of this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and just put my mushroom on. Okay. And then when you fussy cut all these, like I have to be so careful of these delicate little ends um, where I cut here around these little blades of grass. And then I'm just gonna put that maybe down here. <laughs> See how I was able to twist that a little bit because it wasn't quite straight and mm -hmm. now it is. So there's that, and I might put like a little butterfly maybe, or some greenery behind him. Let's see. I've got these stickers. Again, I got these on Amazon. Every day there seems like there's a package at my door. <laughs> but I know. it's. I was looking on AliExpress. And I just kept adding things into my cart. I know. It happens. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. No. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at right? that one. Oh, oh, it's it has, but yeah, there's mushrooms, there's butterflies, there's ferns, oh. there's cutesy, you know, kitschy girls or antique lady faces and <laughs> maybe I'll do a little and I try to like bag all my stuff up um, you know floral together butterflies and insects are in another bag that's a good idea and these I just sit there at night and uh, cut them up that's what I did the other night with the the ones that you sent um yeah i just i had a little tray and i sat in bed and my husband and i were watching a movie and yeah and it was very relaxing of course then i had this like little tray on my lap and then i proceeded to fall asleep which i often do <laughs> Put the tray on your lap. and i think the kitties got in the tray because there were little like like the little pieces, oh. there were some on the bed, there were some on the yes. floor the next morning. So they clearly had their paws in there. They were probably like, I don't mind if I do. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. And you know what? Um, honestly, if you, like I've said before, everything you do is not going to be a masterpiece. So don't put that pressure on yourself. We're not yeah. professional artists. We're just having a good time. So if it doesn't turn out exactly right, you know what? That's okay. Totally fine. And we're always harder on ourselves than anyone else. Yeah. So I should go back. I'm going to add a little, I should add some of this. Although he's pretty dark. I'm going to darken the edges though with this distress ink and I'm going to put a little butterfly on this one and I have a perfect size from that cutout from Shabby Dabby Buda let's go with this one
But I think that's awfully kind to put, um, you know, they sell stuff, but then they also put some freebies out there. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, really nice. it's really nice. Okay, let me see what else. Because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that can't afford to buy all this stuff and they can still do it too, you know? That. I might have to get up. What did I do with that? I have a little. My daughter had some stickers. I wonder if she took them back. Oh, here they are. Oh, Amy said she has to run. Bye, Amy. Thanks oh, for bye, coming. Amy. So glad you were here. I like yeah, this very like, forgiving, um, very forgiving craft. You know, you just yeah. you don't like it, just keep at it. It'll eventually come come around. I like these little like see throughy um, stickers. I think are really cool. Yeah, and you know um, when you put it on, if you um, if it's a little bit foggy, you just run uh, your finger over it, your nail over it to kind of get the the fog to go away a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's almost, um, I've you have you ever done any of the, um, Oh, are they called transfers like on furniture? Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like that, huh? Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm, I'm good with that for now. Like I said, you can always come back and do whatever. I do like to put little, it drives me crazy that the antennas have been cut off my butterflies. So I. Oh, yeah. Go back. Go back and... <laughs> okay, okay. So there's that. And then we're pretty, we're getting there. I'm going to um, close my glue stick. If I can find the lid. Yeah, Anybody I definitely, like, I want to go back and maybe put some, like, flowers on his hat. Yeah, and... you can absolutely do that. And I'll mm -hmm. go back and probably play with this one a bit, too. But um, for now, we are ready to put our pages in. So just um, put one go ahead and open it up. Okay. One more sticker. Okay, here's my, um, I have a piece of coffee dyed, just regular printer paper. Okay. And I folded it in half. And I'm going to rip that. It's okay if it's not exactly right. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Again, and that's going to go on the inside. Okay, where did my? Okay, so that that's the inner page packet. All right, and I have a piece of. Okay, so I have a piece of that too, right? Okay. Okay. All right, so I fold that in half. Mm -hmm. Um. Do that again. I'm gonna do that with this other. This is just scrapbooking paper that I had okay. kind of coordinated. So I'm gonna fold those in half again. And nothing has to be the same size. Like oh, okay. That was gonna be my question. Yeah. Okay. And then here's the um, I like this one, the airports. So I'm gonna fold that. And I think for me, I'm going to make my inside, maybe I'm going to make my inside this day trip one so you could see the expenses and the day trip all in one. Oh, like okay. That. But that's totally up to you how you want to 
put everything together. I kind of alternate the, the book pages with the plain paper. Would you leave like this one where it has the flight thing? Would you cut that off or leave that? I cut mine off, but you cut some people off. would leave okay. it. Mm -hmm. So this book page is going to be, oh, you know, overhanging. So we would definitely cut that off. Another okay. idea that you could do is you could, you could absolutely just fold it off a little bit, like not in the middle, uh -huh. like say like this, and then make this side a little tuck spot. Oh, okay. So. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't even have to be the same size as this page. I'd probably just make sure it doesn't overhang too much. So that looks good to me, even though it doesn't match up with that one. I would still just go ahead and fold this like that. So I'll do that to mine. You can keep yours regular okay. if you want. Did you put any of this in? Like the, whatever this. Um... Um, I, I didn't have that one in mine. But oh, okay. you can put it in if you want. I just have five pages. So the five pages will now become 10 pages. Oh, okay. Let me see what I have here. And really, the only thing I care about is that they don't stick out on the end. So even though I have pages that are, are not lined up, I like uh -huh. that. I like to see the other pages. So I'm leaving mine. Or you can cut it and make everything the same okay i will cut the bottom so that it doesn't out overhang on the outside normally i use my bigger scissors for this but i don't have them sitting here because i cleaned off my desk <laughs> let's see i'll do the same thing with the little pocket Oh, okay. Try that. Lavish mango, Melinda. Hello. Hi, Melinda. I think Melinda does a lot of um, art journaling and. Yeah, probably so because she put in a comment saying you can also cut off the punched edge while leaving the bumps for texture. Uh -huh. Good idea. Okay, so I yeah. guess I have, yeah, I have my pages. Okay, so then we're just going to uh, put them as the bottom. Okay, you got your pages. Yeah, so now I'm making this one my first one. Is that good to do mm -hmm. or should I not? Is that and then do I need to go and cut this then, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess see where so um are all your pages kind of lined up inside? Uh -huh. you yeah, I think I have them kind of lined up. I think this one I'm gonna just do like a little maybe pencil mark. I don't know. Okay. Just so I know where to kind of cut it. And did you do it a little short so that it's. Yeah. It's so what I'll do is I'll probably do it even a little bit. Yeah. I'll do it a little okay, shorter. Right. Okay. And I'm going to get my binder clips ready. Okay. So I'm organizing the signature, making sure it's the way I want it. And then I'm going to put it here inside. We'll talk about this, Julie, when you catch up. 
Okay, so I think, let's see, let me make sure that nothing's hanging over. Did you cut, oh, did you cut your, um, your coffee paper or that was the one you folded? I folded it so I didn't have to cut it. Oh, okay, let me cut my coffee paper a little bit. Is it sticking out a bit? Well, I guess it's not. It's flesh. It's flesh. Okay. Or should I cut it more? No, that's okay. Okay. All right. So I have my... Okay. So now I need my clips. Yep. So just go to the center paper. Okay. Do you have five pieces in there? Let's see. One, two, three four five yes five okay and you could do six you could do four you could you know just however you want okay it's just as we embellish it it gets thicker and thicker so <laughs> that's why i kind of went a little bit on the conservative side with that okay and then um now you're going to take your binding string and i use a, a good three times the amount of the length of the um of your journal, the height okay. of your journal. So I'm going to go one, two, three. This one's almost four. It doesn't matter just so it's no shorter than three. Okay. And um, I saw somebody the other day do this and it was pretty clever. They just took their glue stick and then they took their string and kind of ran their finger over it so that it didn't fray. Oh. And then stuck it through the needle. And that's I did it the idea. other day and I was like, oh, that's so good. So then I'll just thread my needle and we're going to sew in the signature. Okay. Now I have to show, let me see your needle. What does your needle look like? Okay. You have a pretty big one. I, um, I was going to show everybody really quick. I, um, let's see. So I looked in my mom's um, sewing cabinet that's behind me. And I was like, surely. I mean, this is just like the four top things. <laughs> thing. oh but God. some of these needles are so huge. Right? So I don't really know. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a Bond's Market. Yes, Vaughn. Look at how cool that is. Oh my gosh. I wonder what year that was. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say. But I was like, yeah, I, I knew my mama would have. This is right. Farmer's Agent. I think there's two of those. But so cool. But I mean, some of these are just gigantic. Uh, yeah. I don't like even know what needle. those are They're for. They're like poultry like, needles. Yes, they must be upholstery. There were two of those. And then this one was really fun, which was um, <laughs> this fun graphic. And then it was Virginia, Virginia Cute. Slims on the back. Okay, so I guess I'll just pick one that seems like I can get the, I don't know. Is that too big? <laughs> Is that like too thick? No? No, that's so, okay. Okay. Um, All right. I spin on mine. I like to mine. All right. Okay, so you're just gonna um, Wait, find the middle. Back. There we go. Okay, you're just gonna find the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. And if you want your signature to tie in the middle on the inside, then you're gonna start on the inside. Okay. If you want it, some people like it to see it on the outside, you can do it on the outside. We're going to go on the inside today. And I just okay. kind of look, because this is just a little junk journal, I don't care if I'm not exactly right. I'm just going to go right. ahead and poke a hole through there. So I'm just going to go all the way through all the pages. And through the material? Yep. So okay. it's going to come out the back side here. Oh, wait. I was. Do I need to put a knot in the end? I didn't do that. Nope. No. Oh, no. no. Okay. No knot. Okay. And uh, when, you, when you stick it through there, we're just going to leave about five or so inches on the inside of it as we go through. Okay. Make 
sure I have about five inches. Okay. I believe that is just enough that we can tie it when we're done. Oh, okay. Okay. And then on the back side, I'm going to make sure that when I go through, like if you had any shorter pages, you just want to make sure that you don't go above the shorter, shortest page. Oh, okay. Otherwise you wouldn't catch it. So I'm just going to, you know, go about here because I know none of my pages are shorter than that. Okay. And I'm going to go back down through all of them and come out that side. And then I'm going to hold this with my fingers so that it doesn't pull through. Doesn't pull. Okay. Whoops. And go back through that. This is just a three hole pamphlet stitch, they call it. Okay. And then when you're on the top here, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And do the same here. So I'm just going to make sure I catch all my pages and go through that one. Come back out this side. Okay. So now I'm looking at the back side of it, still kind of holding on to that one. And you're going to go right back through that same hole that you first went through going this way, going from okay. the back to the front. And you're going to try to come out that same hole. Sometimes I'll take and pull this a little bit with my hand to kind of make sure I can see that hole from this side. Okay. And there it went right back through. I didn't have to like feel like I was poking through other pages or anything. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, and I'm back through the hole. Mm -hmm. And then when I come through the hole, see how both of my both of mine are actually on the same side. I want one on the other side, so I'm gonna oh okay lift this up so that one's on the other side. Okay. And then do I take the um, the needle off now? Yeah, you can take the needle off now. Okay. Oh my so, gosh, this is so cool. Ugh. Isn't it? Yeah. So and then cool. um, now I would just tie it, go left over right, and then right over left to make a, knot, a square knot. That way they don't come undone. Left over right. Oh, I didn't know if I did that right. <laughs> That's okay if you don't. It just helps a little bit, not not total necessity. Now, some people like to leave these long and put little beads on them down okay. here for dangles. Um, I'm just going to tie it in a bow today. Most of the time I don't, especially on little ones like this, I don't put any of those dangles on there. And do you always do a bow? You always. You can do a bow or you could just leave it a knot. Okay. The good thing is the bow comes untied. You're not, um, You're it's not going to, yeah. it's not going to come undone here. Yeah. So really, that's it. We're we've made one. Other than oh a gosh, color. how how um, long did you leave your um, your tails? Or does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Um, I okay. just left them about that long, maybe an inch and a half, two inches. Okay. But there, look at that. We have a little book. <gasps> so cool! Oh my gosh. Oh. And then the fun part of embellishing it all would be next. So um, the closure, uh, let's see. I sent you oh, some yeah. lace. What did I do with like that? This, okay. A piece like uh -huh. this if you wanted to do this, and then you just tie it in a little bow. Okay. Or you could actually, this, this kind just stays closed. Like you don't even need a bow. And then I would clip these smaller if that's the way I normally wanted to have it. Uh, the other, you know, you can use lace or ribbon. So this was a piece of ribbon. And this Beautiful. one, I, the ribbon, I actually had held it over here and, um, 
stitched it in when I did the pamphlet stitch. Oh, okay. That's a great idea. So it's always that way. I, yeah, I didn't have that many. You can also, if you didn't have any of that kind of stuff, but you had string, you can also just use this use string as your closure. And Which just, has a really cool look, right? Or yeah. some wine or. Yeah. So. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool too? If you like put like a button, you could actually like yeah. sew a button I've and then make it, that. or is it two, right? Where you do the twisty tie. Um, I've seen them do like, they put like a closure thing here and you can wrap you know take the string from one side and wrap it around right on side. and wrap it around yeah so cute so you just kind of got to decide what you want and then Ooh. if you like rounded corners you can take your corner rounder you know to kind of give it a little more finished look oh yeah i've never used my what is my corner and it's kind of hard with these uh you know they're pretty thick now this one's just a cheap one that I have here. I have my better one in Mexico. Yeah, and I might have to invest in another one. Do you do like the biggest one, I guess? I don't know. Um, I only have one size. Mine is oh, a fancy. Okay. Let me see how it works. Oh, well, yeah. That actually I know just gave me a And you don't have to have a corner rounder. You could actually just cut it yourself, you know, cut those little tips off. Yeah. I'll do that on this one because that corner rounder is not working for me. Yeah, mine. I don't know if mine is either. Oh, it did it. Okay. Yeah, that kind of gives. Oh, a nice I like look. it. Yeah, I like the court. I like the. I like the look it gives. It. It's very finished. There we go. That was easier. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I want to, I, I think I want to do like a butterfly or something. Mm -hmm. up above. You can absolutely, My you know, embellish, embellish it more on the front. You can, you know, mm -hmm. add a little, um, you know, lace to it with a button or, um, you know, use some, it would be cute with like even your little, um, what do you call it? your S and H green stamps, but here's like a little embellishment. Oh, yes, 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 before. yes, with some postage stamps. One of those stamps. kind of stamps. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put that somewhere on here and. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And then this right here, it's, it's already pretty much ready to go. You would just add a little tacky glue right here and here, and then you'd have a little tuck spot, or you could leave it open whatever but in decorate just this part right you would have a little pocket to let me get a tag you know slide a little tag into so cute mm -hmm. so i'm uh i'll keep making embellishment videos on my channel and just uh watch them when you can and, and keep going. Right. On how, how, what we can do to the, right. What we can do to each uh -huh. of the pages and, oh, I love this. Yeah. Super fun. So I need to get caught up too, because like, so I could use this, right. The thing, can the math board, with? right. That I made with, um, uh right because i made this master board when you did the tutorial on thursday so this can uh -huh. become my tags right so i need to go back and get caught up yeah with your yeah, last so video absolutely yeah you've got them ready to go mm -hmm. okay <laughs> yay right so fun well that's it so there you go yeah and i think um yeah, I definitely need to add some stuff to the front here. I, I used yeah, a couple of Yeah, and then go back and those. add your pocket and stuff too. Yeah, I add, added some of those stickers my daughter had. and But yeah, I definitely want to go back. and Oh, and then I need to do something with this, right? Because I only did, I left that third. Empty. Yeah, so that'll be your pocket and all. So 
So then uh, I just go back it. and might cut yep. this and make pockets. <gasps> okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Good All know. right. Yeah, sometimes on this, I'll go ahead and mod podge the front too, just to make sure. Oh, it's okay. Stable. Just to give it. Want. Yeah. Just to give it mod more. Podge um, that medium, any of that stuff. Yeah. I think too, it would help too if be, you know if you use some of these stickers because they have that kind of shiny. It'll probably will mm -hmm. it make it all kind of one. Yeah. One yeah. surface. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, Kelly. Definitely. Yes, definitely. If you and Mary um, make these, make sure to um, post them to the um, hashtag. I'll put it in again. Yeah. <gasps> oh, and have we given you the bug, Amy? Good. <laughs> really? Good. Let me post that hashtag again. And um, yeah, if anybody. Online too. Or tag me hmm? or post. Do uh, yes, my definitely. Yeah, too. tag Debbie. I'll show you her Instagram page here too. Um, for anybody that isn't follow, so I have her link um, for her YouTube channel below um, is in the description. But let me also show you her um, uh, Instagram page here real quick. Okay, so there's the hashtag. So if anybody feels inspired and um, you know, make sure you post and uh, share with us and then I'll share next um, next Thursday on the Vintage Craft and Chat. And then let me pull up so that you guys can see. Let me pull up. Um, and then I'll um, make sure that you get the Shabby Dabby Doodah too. I think we should post her link in there for this free. Oh, okay. Yeah, can you post it? Um, or I guess I could put it in the description too, right? Oh, yeah, probably good in the description, but um, let me see if I can get Yeah, her. if you can find it, then you can put it in the chat. Let's see here. I'm looking for, whoops, up oh, here. Okay, oh, so I, for, <laughs> yeah, and then here is uh, Debbie's Instagram page right here. And I think mm -hmm. I could put Instagram links right in the description. I'll go back and do that too after we're done. Um, and here's, yeah, oh, here's yeah. Debbie on my, uh, my Vagabond style on Instagram. Hang on, I don't know. How do we share links? Can I just do this? You know what? I'm going to do it right now. I was under my wrong. Um, oh, okay. Thing, but I'll do it right now. Here Share we go. this profile. I'm, as well, there yeah. we go. Okay. My Vagabond Style. I just posted Shabby Dabby Doodah's link. And uh, she's got a great YouTube channel. And um, that's where you can find her link to her uh, website that will give you the freeze. Perfect. I'm going to go back and watch the video and go there. <laughs> Pull that yeah. up. All okay. right. Let's well, see. Thanks, should we go back to our faces? Me. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's do Maybe that. we should go back to our faces. I'm going to change back my camera. Here we yeah. are. Yeah, my Move my <laughs> desk a little bit here. I feel like okay. I'm on, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm on the radio or something, right? With these. No, right? <laughs> Oops. I have a very noisy, um, chair there all right yeah so that was fun i know it seemed like it you know it took us two hours to make one but we chatted probably for the first 20 minutes but, um, yes we were chatting i was looking at yeah i was looking at the chat and i i guess i just realized i'm a slow i'm just a slow crafter i'm not okay cool. and like i said Actually, because you have those masks, if you want to do the master boards like that, you could mm -hmm. absolutely do it on cardstock. And then, which I can't remember what we did that one on. Was it cardstock or paper? Uh, it's no, it's on um, what do you call it? The thick stuff. Yeah, cardstock. So is that too thick? No, that's perfect. So, oh, okay. Um, anybody that's watching that um, hasn't done a master board on my channel, there's a tutorial for master boards. Mm -hmm. And Julie and I did it together. So you could cut those into whatever size journals you want. 
And you could definitely do two journals out of that if you wanted, or right. you could make smaller ones even. Okay. So it's already done. Your journals would, you could make two journals easily, I would say, in probably 45 minutes. Yeah, because I can get a front and a back. Yeah. Right. And then I just have to decorate the inside. And then I probably would have enough to make the little things for here, right? My little pockets. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So very good. Oh my gosh, Debbie, this is so fun. Yeah, I know oh, it's like so addicting. It's crazy. Uh, like I just want to spend time making stuff. I mean, that's like um what I do now is make all these embellishments. Uh here, let me go back to here. I've got these all ready to go. These are finished. And I can stuff my journal with them. All of these are done. That's perfect. And then I have, uh, I'll be making another tutorial on how to do these clusters. Yeah, we definitely, yes, we need a tutorial on clusters, yeah. on tea staining. And then there's another one I have on pockets already up. Mm hmm. I need to go back and I watched it, but now I probably like need to gather my supplies and then watch, you know, do it while you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. Well, thanks so what much are for belly me. bands? I don't know. Oh, belly bands oh. are the long. The got long. one right here. All right. Let me show you. Let me go. Should I switch my camera back? Yeah, and then I'll make you big, too. Okay, so here's a belly band that I made. And okay. then I would you'd stick it like, this is a little short of a journal mm -hmm. here. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like the page was longer. And then that way you can just tuck whatever in there. Oh, That's a I belly love band. It. And then you just glue each of the ends there. Yeah, you just glue only the ends. Yep. And would you use like a Fabri-Tac glue to do that? Yes. Okay. Yep. So oh, there you this. go. Oh, here's what I was talking about when I got a little crazy with the little pieces. <laughs> but I think that's really pretty, especially for the inside, right? Yeah, it's just a belly band. And so I used mm -hmm. a strip of cardstock. I collaged and left the edges. Ooh, and I then like I that. stapled, I stapled a couple different elements together. And that was it. And I love incorporating like the textures, right? The paper and um uh, the lace and ribbon. And yes, ribbons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the texture of that. So fun. Yeah. There's some other ones. Oh, look at those. Oh, are those the, like the Tim Holtz? Yeah, these are the Tim oh. Holtz people. Okay. I need to get some of those. I just have like the like butterfly bird kind of thing. I'd love to get. Oh, look at that with the ticket. Mm -hmm. And this is why I can't throw away any little pieces of lace. You know, like those bits that were the off cuts from here because you'll use right. them. Yes. And I mean, then mine, are, mine are going to go in something. Yes. I know. It's crazy. This was a, um, off a master board. So I didn't cut down the master board. I scanned it. And then I used this paper on top of cardstock. Mm. And so it looks like I collaged it. Like I have to feel it to make sure, is that the real one or is that a collage? Cause yes, I mean, to me, it uh, looks paper. like a, yeah, it looks like a collage. You wouldn't, you would never know it. It's a yeah. Copy. You never know that you, you scanned it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on shabby dabby doo her freebie, she has a beautiful, some beautiful collage tags already for you. Oh, Okay. Which that's a great kind of jumping off point too. If you don't have, you know, all the supplies, how great is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, Melinda's saying the point of junk journal is so you can just be creative and do mm -hmm. what you want. 
with whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah. You don't have to have all the fancy stuff for sure. You don't, Just, I mean, you know, literally you can, yes, grab your, grab your incoming mail, um, grab a yeah. couple uh, magazines or flyers or right. We all get. Yeah. Priority here's mail another, or cereal boxes. Yes. Here's another one that I did. Oh, um, so this cute. was made out of book pages. So I, I had like two or three book pages glued together Mm -hmm. And I use my sewing machine on this one, but you don't have to use a sewing machine. And then um, on the inside, that's a Tim Holtz little puppy. And these are, um, I forget what you call these cards. They were popular for a long time. I can't oh, like trader cards? No. No, these were mm. like um, mm. like a journal thing that they sold at, at Michael's. Oh, okay. That are already that machine. size. Okay. Yeah. And then I just used some coffee dyed papers and made like a little tablet and sewed that in with a little bit of lace. Nice. Now, are you, I'm, I'm assuming, so you'll probably, you'll do something too to show us how to, like what to do with these uh, pages, you know, like the glue off that we folded. Which ones? I can't see what that is. You know, is. like where we were using the book uh, for to glue onto and then. Oh, and then yeah. The yeah, pages. definitely. Yeah. In fact, um, that other video that I have up on my channel has, um, that's how I made the little pockets that you like. Oh, okay. Okay. That's how you did it. Okay, good. Uh -huh. so I'm going to go back and. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, okay. Amy says uh, ATC cards. Uh, no, they weren't ATC cards. They were from um, a system that Michaels came out with, and oh, um, uh, like, well, like a like, is it just like a journal, like a daily journal? No, I don't know. Gosh, if I think of the name of it, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, but they're actually a little bit bigger than a playing card. Okay, so they're not exactly the same, but you could absolutely make an artist trading card out of that for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's great so. too of those of us that are have like purchased from right other seller resellers here on YouTube and in the community, a lot of people put um, uh, package toppers and things in the package. I always save all those. I have like a little drawer and I save yes. all the bits of ribbon and all the training cards and the package toppers that I get I save all that like I've already done that even though I'm I'm not like do, doing wasn't do, wasn't yet doing the junk journaling <laughs> but I have uh -huh. that too I just I save all those little bits and pieces yeah definitely I, I keep doing that too mm -hmm. yes oh. and Etsy Etsy is a great um uh, a lot of the sellers on there have digital downloads and yeah I haven't, mm -hmm. I haven't yet kind of gone into that realm of things, but yeah, that's a great place. And I don't think they're very, it's not very expensive, right? I no, don't think it costs a lot to get the downloads. Right. The only thing is like, like I said, if I'm going to sell any of my journals, like I want to make sure I'm not, I'm using mm -hmm. domain free images. So that's, um, but you know, especially when you first start out, you're just going to be making them for yourself and your friends. So yeah, get those freebies for sure. Right. Cause you're, yeah, you're just learning. You're just kind of mastering yeah. the techniques and yeah, you're not thinking about, Oh, I'm going to do this to sell. You're just doing it right out for your own mm -hmm. yeah. family and friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All righty. So All right. So what else do you have anything coming up? Um, like, do you have anything coming up? Um, soon or, or like um, when, when would you be posting videos? I don't have a schedule because, um, I don't want one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing about this. We don't have to have schedules. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be seeing, you know, that's why if you subscribe to my channel, um, be sure and put the notification bell on there so that you'll see when a new video is posted. Um, I'll just continue to do whatever I'm working on. I'm going to um, make videos on and just keep posting. So um, yeah, I'm going to put your link in too. So it's live in the chat. Let me do that real quick oh, okay. here. 
Yeah, so this is definitely, it definitely becomes addictive. That's for sure. And I'm okay with it because it's a good kind of addiction, right? It is. It's, it's um, it, there's, there's little, I mean, you really don't even have to spend any money, right? I mean, there no. is, there's a very low barrier to entry. You just need like some glue and yeah. scissors. And, and try if you like it. Try with whatever you have and, yes. and see if it's something for you. And do it a few times, you know, because the more you do it, the better at it you get. Let's see. So. Let me go here real quick and I'll post it. And there we go. You know, well, this was fun. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, have to do it again. It was so fun. Yes. Definitely want to, um, to do more, explore more. There we go. Debbie's channel. Yeah. So if anybody isn't always subscribe, make sure to subscribe because Debbie um, is so creative. And I, that was the one thing I said, it was so relaxing. Like your voice is very relaxing. When I was watching the last video you put up, I was just like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, people are, people are probably going to fall asleep, but um, no, you know, no, it was just like you are it was and... so calming in your voice. I mean, it was like perfect, and and it it was just really pleasant oh, um, thanks, to Julie. watch. And and I'm, I'm I'm a little biased, but yeah, <laughs> it's the truth. I was like, oh, I I loved it. So oh, thanks. All righty. Okay. Hi. Let's see. What do I need? Let's see. Um, tomorrow, um, Vintage Coffee Talk. I do a live sale every Friday with uh, my friend Kate of Releve Vintage. And tomorrow we're on our channel. It's all Easter. Easter sale. We've both been saving up the Easter goodness for tomorrow's sale. That's 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. What else Looking forward to have? that. Yes. And um uh, yeah, so it's a live um, sale of vintage items, curated vintage items, and then we do a fun show and tell at the end of the sale. So post a picture. You can post a picture on Instagram using the hashtag uh, vintage coffee talk. And even if you don't have your Easter decor out, it can be something that's um, spring inspired. Um, if you're not, you know, quite in the Easter mode yet in your home. And it's just so fun. It's fun to see what people love and what people collect in the vintage community. It's kind of my favorite part of the show. It is fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's really, it, I feel like, um, you know, like it, even though like a lot of us are right, we're uh, some of us are friends or new friends and we sort of have an idea of what somebody likes or collects but sometimes it's interesting right sometimes it may be mm -hmm. surprising and things that people inherited and why those things are special to them it's really yeah it's really there's fun. been some really interesting um posts that people have made from the vintage right copy. yeah and sometimes mm -hmm. like yeah it's been like kind of tear yeah. or just or sometimes unexpected right you you may yeah. think oh that person you know based on their name or based on their instagram post kind of what they love and collect and sometimes it's just surprising in a really good way so right it's good yeah. and i think that's it i'm on the big craft uh craft uh that's right what is it what is it called? Craft, the craft off. off. Craft, craft off. Uh, March uh, 23rd on Helen Booty's channel, uh, New England Thrifter. So that's fun. That'll be Easter themed. And I think that's it. I have maybe something coming up uh, before that, but I don't have a lot of details. But I'll announce when we get a little bit closer. I'll be on a guest on just a fun, not um, not selling, but just a fun uh, awesome. guest on somebody else's channel. Yeah. So I think that's it. Okay. Well, All thanks right. everyone for coming. And thanks for having me. Yes. Julie. And thanks for coming, Debbie. This was so fun. You have me hooked. I'm going to, I'll finish, <laughs> I'll finish my journal. Hopefully um, soon I'll post a picture on Instagram of my finished journal. And we'd love to see what you've all been inspired to create after today.
Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Debbie. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. We hope you have a marvelous day. Bye. Bye.